Hello everyone, Sheepdog here. Today I'll be going over how to use Task Force Arrowhead Radio, or TFAR for short. This guide assumes that you've already installed TeamSpeak and the TFAR plugin for TeamSpeak. So if you haven't already, then please check out our video on how to do so. For now, we'll be going over how to connect to TeamSpeak and join the appropriate channel, as well as using and configuring short and long range communications. First, let's review how TFAR works, as TFAR operates differently from standard ARMA comms. In order to speak to other players on TFAR enabled servers, you will need to be connected to your server's TeamSpeak. So I'll start here in the top left under connections. I'll press connect. I'll type in the name of the server I want to connect to. In this case, it is pre-filled for me. And then I'll press the connect button. As you can see, it'll take just a moment to connect here. And then it will put me into the lobby of the server. In order to join the appropriate channel, all you need to do is connect to the ARMA3 server, select a squad role, and then spawn in. You should be automatically moved here and you'll hear a notification announcing that here in just a moment. Now that I'm actually in game, let's go over how to communicate. TFAR uses automatic voice broadcasting by default, so anyone nearby, friend, or foe will be able to hear you talk. You can adjust your speaking volume by pressing the control and tab key at the same time. You can cycle between shouting, whispering, and normal volume with normal being the default. For short range communication, you will need a radio, most commonly the AN slash PRC 152. This is the standard short to medium range radio for all squad members and has a range of up to five kilometers. You can speak over the primary radio channel by pressing the caps lock key. You should hear a radio squawk when you press the key as well as when you release. Your radio also has the ability to speak over other channels as well. All you need to do is hold the T key. In order to set the appropriate radio channel for your squad, you will need to configure the radio. You can do this by pressing the control and P keys together. Let's do this now. The easiest way to set your channel is to use your mouse to click on the channel shown on the radio screen, then press delete or backspace in order to clear that out. Next, you can type in the frequency you want to use, in this case 82, then you'll press enter on the keypad and that will set the frequency to your radio, so whenever you press caps lock, you'll be speaking over this channel. In order to set an alternate channel, you'll need to switch to a different channel by using the pre plus keys on the radio, and we'll press that now and switch the channel to. Next, what we'll need to do is type in the frequency that we want to use. In this case, we'll use four, five. We'll press enter to lock that in, and then we'll press the left arrow key on the radio to set the channel as the alternate channel. And as you can see, it changed the A2. And then we'll switch back to the primary channel, C1. And now we should be able to speak over both channels. So let's test that now. And as you can see there in the bottom right, I was broadcasting over channel one and over channel two there. There are a few other things you can change to optimize your communications as well. For example, you can click on the radio volume knob up at the top to adjust your volume between a range of levels. You can also change your radio between speaker and headset mode by pressing the right arrow key to switch between speaker and headset mode. This allows you to share your audio with others or keep your comms private, depending on the situation. You can also press the zero key to change the audio for the current channel to your left or right ears or both ears. This is most useful for setting your squad comms on one channel to your left ear and setting your command comms on another channel in your right ear. Now, for long range communications, squad leads will carry the RT1523G radio as a backpack. This radio is also used in ground vehicles and has a range of 20 to 30 kilometers for the backpack and vehicle versions respectively. Now operating the long range radio is similar to the short range radio, with the exception that the long range will use control and caps lock to activate and alt and P for the radio configuration. Now, let's go ahead and open the menu here. To set your channel, follow the same process as the short range radio. Type in the radio frequency onto the display. We'll use 85. Then press the freak key to lock that in. Now you should be able to speak using control plus caps lock. So we'll go ahead and do that now. Notice how the radio squawk is a little bit different from the standard short range radio. Next, to set an alternate frequency, we'll go ahead and switch over to channel 2. 
we'll type in the frequency that we want here, in this case 54. We'll lock that using the FREQ key. Then we'll press the ERF OFST key, just below that one. Notice that it changes from CH to CA. And finally, we'll switch back to the main channel. And we should now be able to speak over both channels using the control caps lock and the Y key for the alternate. And as you can see there in the bottom right, we have both frequencies on screen as well as both channels. Now these steps also apply to ground vehicles as they will use the exact same interface. Radios on aircraft look a little bit different from the standard long range set, but the process for configuring those is exactly the same. Remember you can always leave the interface using the escape key once you're done. Other than that, that's everything I have for you today. You should now be able to communicate with everyone at both short and long range. Please let us know if you have any questions using the comments below. Otherwise, take care and have a good one, guys.